The 2025 Okotnik B, also known as the S-70 Hunter, represents Russia's most advanced leap into the world of next-generation unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAVs. Developed by Suhoi and integrated under the United Aircraft Corporation, the Okotnik B is designed to serve alongside manned fighter aircraft like the Su-57 in highly contested environments, bringing stealth, lethality, and autonomy to Russia's aerial arsenal. The S-70 combines stealthy design principles with advanced avionics, high-speed flight, and heavy payload capabilities, forming the backbone of Russia's future drone warfare doctrine. The Okotnik B features a flying wing design with a blended body fuselage, greatly reducing its radar cross-section and enhancing its survivability in hostile environments. Constructed with composite materials and radar-absorbent coating, the drone emphasizes stealth as a primary feature. Its flat, angular surfaces help deflect radar waves, and the engine is recessed with an infrared suppressor to reduce heat signature, allowing it to operate deep behind enemy lines with minimal detection risk. The drone measures approximately 14 meters in length with a wingspan of around 19 meters, making it one of the largest and most powerful combat drones in development. The power plant is a key component of the S-70. Early prototypes use the AL-31F engine, but the 2025 iteration is equipped with the more advanced AL-41F series, the same engine powering the Su-57. This turbojet engine delivers high thrust and supports supersonic dash speeds while maintaining high-altitude endurance. Although the current version lacks afterburner capability for sustained supersonic flight, its cruising speed reaches up to 1,000 km per hour, and it can fly at altitudes up to 18,000 meters. The operational range exceeds 6,000 km with internal fuel tanks, making it suitable for long-range strategic missions. The avionics suite of the Okotnik B is heavily integrated with artificial intelligence and real-time data link technology. Its autonomous navigation and mission planning systems allow it to perform missions without direct pilot control. The S-70 can operate in various modes, fully autonomous, semi-autonomous with pilot oversight or as a loyal wingman. In the latter role, it is capable of coordinated operations with the Su-57, using data fusion to enhance situational awareness, identify targets, and carry out joint strikes. The onboard sensors include AESA radar, IRST, infrared search and track, electronic warfare suites, and satellite communication systems, giving it all weather, day and night capabilities. The internal weapons bay of the Okotnik B allows it to carry up to 2,800 kilograms of munitions. It can be equipped with a variety of precision-guided weapons, including KH-38 air-to-ground missiles, CAB-250 and KAB-500 guided bombs, anti-radar missiles, and potentially air-to-air -air missiles for limited air defense roles. The weapons bay is designed to maintain stealth by concealing weapons internally rather than using external hardpoints, which would increase its radar signature. There are reports that future versions may include hypersonic or standoff munitions to expand its strategic strike capabilities. The ground control segment of the Okotnik B includes mobile and stationary command centers equipped with encrypted communication systems, real-time telemetry tracking, and satellite uplinks. Ground operators can intervene in missions, retask drones, or take manual control if necessary. However, the focus of the S-70 program is to minimize human intervention and maximize machine autonomy, especially in high-risk scenarios such as deep strikes or suppression of enemy air defenses seed missions. As of 2025, the Okotnik B has completed several test flights with live weapon firings and complex mission simulations. Its ability to fly in formation with Su-57 fighters and share combat data is one of its most advanced capabilities, supporting Russia's future vision of manned-on-man -manned teaming. This significantly extends the reach and survivability of manned aircraft, allowing them to remain behind the front lines while the S-70 conducts reconnaissance, targeting, or even sacrificial roles in high-threat zones. Another vital feature is its electronic warfare and cyber defense integration. The Okotnik B is equipped with jammers and signal disruptors to blind enemy radar and communications. It can also act as a decoy or electronic shield for manned aircraft or other UCAVs. Russian defense sources indicate that future variants might even be equipped for cyber attack missions, jamming or infiltrating enemy networks midair. The Okotnik B is also built for modular upgrades. Its design allows easy integration of newer sensors, weapons, and software upgrades. This modularity ensures that the drone remains effective against emerging threats and is adaptable to evolving mission types. There are plans to introduce swarm technology, allowing multiple S-70s to operate as a coordinated unit, enhancing effectiveness through distributed lethality and shared sensor fusion. 
In conclusion, the 2025 Okotnik B is a formidable step into sixth generation warfare for the Russian Aerospace Forces. Its combination of stealth, autonomy, and heavy payload capacity positions it as a central element in future conflicts where manned aircraft alone may not suffice. While Western competitors like the US XQ-58A Valkyrie and European Loyal Wingman programs are developing rapidly, the S-70 Okotnik B asserts Russia's ambitions to lead in unmanned stealth combat systems. As mass production ramps up and integration with Russia's broader military infrastructure continues, the Okotnik B is likely to play a crucial role in shaping the next era of air combat.